I'm here with Dean. Dean is infamous for bar height <laughs> and other, as well as many other things. And we've got exactly the same bikes. Heckler SL, extra large. Very, loads of similarities on it, really. We've got the same fork. Same travel. In the same travel, 170 mil Owens 38. The exact same spec, other than your bars and your brakes. But you've got excessively high bars. Now, when I built this, this is the highest bars I've ever had. Significantly higher. This is extreme, this is extreme for me. For you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I rode yours, and I was like, <laughs> this is like, a, I'm changed dimension. This is like ridiculously high. Yeah. <laughs> so even if we compare like for like, you've gone, what, 10 mil higher on the spacers? 10 mil higher on the spacers. The 10 mil higher on the stem, because it's a rise stem? I think it's 15. 15? So I've got 15 mil on the stem That's as well. Yeah, 25. Yeah. And then a higher rise Bergtech bar, which is so it's 15, 15 mil, higher. mil higher. So we're now talking 40 mil higher. 40 mil. <laughs> 40 millimeters higher bar. Yeah, it's massive. That's, it doesn't sound that right, isn't it? But it's, it is extreme it is, when you ride it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a gigantic difference. So, in true pseudo scientific form, we're going to ride each other's bikes <laughs> and criticize each other's setup. Then we'll measure them. It is, yeah, 810. Eight, eight. And then somehow we'll come to a conclusion on who's right. Because we're both about the same size, right? How yeah, tall are you? Yeah, I think yeah, I'm 6'1", so you, you've got an inch on me. Oh, yeah, a bit taller. I'm 6'4". 6'4"? Six, six four. Six yeah, four? yeah, that's not split hairs. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> but similar similar size, similar build, similar bike. It's the exact same size bike. Same weight. Hold on, you've got... What length is your stem? Oh, 50. I'm so a 50 mil different. stem. How wide is your bars? Uh, my bars are cut to 765, but with the grips... It's probably a bit wider than that, isn't it? They're probably 770-ish. So many variables, because <laughs> mine are 42 mil stem and 800 bar uncut. Oof. So if you're going to add boy. grips on as well, that's got to be what? That's huge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is wide and low, and you're thin, high, and miles out in front of your stem. <laughs> <laughs> Yours is like chopper. Yeah. It's and, mine's, and mine's... Road bike. <laughs> Road bike, but just twice as wide. Just wider, wide. yeah. Yeah, your, your finals, I'm Jack Moyer. What should we do first? Ride our own bikes, talk about how good so. they are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And how wrong the other person is. Absolutely. Then ride the other person's bike, criticise them, and tell them how wrong they are. Or fall in love with them. Yeah, <laughs> well, I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll come to a scientific conclusion at the end of it. How about that? Sounds good. We ride Let's some bikes. <laughs> Bikes. They're ridiculously good, aren't they? It's definitely the wrong line, yeah, isn't it? My grip. <laughs> There's no better bar than what I've got. There's no better bar setup, bike setup. Everything is perfect. Mm. Well, I guess we're going to see, aren't we? Because mine just feels brilliant. I do have a question mark there. This is the highest bar height I've ever had. Yeah. And the most comfortable. So am I at the end of the scale yet? Well, there's only one way to find out, isn't there? Because maybe Dakota and Orson think, thinks the same. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> See, look, if your bars were higher, you'd have been able to turn there. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> oh my God, I'm just telling me off for crashing as well. Oh! <laughs> Should we do it then? Should we swap? I think we're going to have to because... You've, you've got it in my head now. Yeah, I think. Let's see, because uh, it might surprise you. It looks rancid, but... Kind of well, works. I think it is going to surprise me. It <laughs> surprise me in a good way or not, I don't know. Uh, what is this? <laughs> this is the most bizarre thing I've ever sat on. It's my bike, but worse. Why is your seat post so high? Who's going first? Go on, I'm going first. Yeah, I you, think I you can just about to... ride it. I d I <laughs> oh, your gears are the wrong way. Oh no. Ah! 
Oh my God, oh Jesus. Oh, oh my. Oh. <laughs> Feels like I'm sailing with these, these bars that are so wide. Oh, I can't ride this, oh Jesus. I don't want to make conclusions after a couple of runs. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, first impression, I'm not scared <laughs> like I thought I would be. <laughs> I tell you what though, mate, this is really good for climbing. What, the high bar, the low bar? The low bar. <laughs> oh. Don't tell Dean, it feels really good. Ridiculous. Saddle down. Don't, don't, don't tell him, just feel it yeah. tapping where you don't want it to. Um, terrible. I can't believe that it's the same bike. I don't feel relaxed, I feel really tense over it. Like my weight is here, whereas I'm used to my body weight being here in like the center of the bike. Um, and the, the low bar is pushing my weight backwards. And so I just can't, I can't corner. And I can't, I can't do anything, I can't see the track. If it doesn't feel very calm, despite having the same forks. I just can't, I can't see, I can't, it's weird. And it's and that's a the, 40 mil difference. That's the highest I've ever had it. So that's like the most extreme bar height I've ever had. I say extreme for me. So that's yeah, like, yeah, that's yeah, like yeah. my upper yeah. limit. Yeah, yeah. Go on, what, what are your thoughts? Because I wonder well, if it's the opposite. down that track there, that's a track with like super weird G out. You're turning and you're G'ing out at the same time. Yeah, yeah. We felt comfortable, we felt fine. Yeah. But there's no way down there I'm struggling for grip. So in the back of my head, I know it might be totally counterintuitive to how we've just done it. I think if we start riding flat corners, am I gonna start feeling a weird body position because I'm getting weight over the front wheel? I, I know I yeah, probably yeah. will do because yeah, I can yeah, yeah. put more weight on the bar, but that's how my brain is anticipating it riding. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I don't know, down here, well, it feels really good. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Told you so. Well, let's, why don't we go and ride a different track that's slightly flatter? Yeah. Yeah, there's some over there, isn't it? Let's go. Here we go, new track. Little bit faster, little bit flatter. Still on Dean's bike though. This feel is quite confidence inspiring. Despite me not riding that track in however long. It feels fine. Oh gosh! Struggling for things to find that I dislike about it, Dean. Oh, go on. No, no I'm so I'm struggling, struggling to find oh. things I dislike about oh. it. <laughs> I was really surprised then, I can't tell me. My shoelace came undone. That's one thing. Uh, yeah, but it was your left one on this bike, so. Yeah, maybe it's Or you rather, left or right. It feels fine. <laughs> <laughs> it feels absolutely fine. Yeah. Am I gonna hate my bike getting back on it? Have you ruined know, my bike for me? It takes a bit of getting used to that, doesn't it? And I'm getting more used to this, but I really struggle. So you go over the jump, right, left, right and then around that left my weight just starts creeping back over the rear wheel and on that i can feel myself pull myself forward on this i just get stuck because my i'm like locked with these great big bars and the lowness i feel like i'm just locked and then i have to brake to get around the next corner whereas that i feel like i can just like twiddle the bars you know like i'm skiing and like it just it just it does feel natural do you know what it feels like as well is Go on. These first couple of corners are quite scary because you're hitting them quite fast. They are on this, yeah. But this feels like I am behind the, a set of big 
bars. Do, does that make sense? Yeah, like it does, you, yeah, like yeah. you're behind a set of triple crowns on a yeah, bike yeah. and there's something in the way of protecting you yeah. before the corners. It gives you that confidence, doesn't it? It gives you something yeah. to not hide behind, but, no, no, so, no, there's, but there's something there in front of you to push you against hold on to, as well. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to swap back or you want no, to keep I'm going? More, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm never getting that back, am I? <laughs> okay. Whoa! It's really good. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to have to swap back at some point. Please. You're at the top of the hill. Yeah, go on. Oh, God, it's a bit slow there. Whoa, I'm all over the place. Whoa, he's sliding out. Oh, this is just better. <laughs> Me? Uh, well, I screwed up a bit because I got a bit close, but it just feels more comfortable. It feels like I can play with the bike, move the bike, brake, I can see. It's just that everything's better. Oh, no. Ah. <laughs> What a... <laughs> I had the worst run ever. <laughs> yeah. We've done like big G out corners. We've done some fast corners and we've come to this one. Very, very different because we want to look at traction on flat corners. And when I'm talking about flat corners, I don't just mean it hasn't got any support. I mean, it is literally zero gradient change. So there's no weighting of the front wheel because of the gradient. Is this, that's what it's <laughs> gonna be. Like it's the yeah. slidiest corner in the woods, honestly. Yeah. It's, and it's got really grippy pine needles all over it. We're bigging this up because it's gonna look terrible on camera. And we're gonna <laughs> crash more than likely. <laughs> and it's really slow <laughs> and really flat, but also, really difficult to generate any sort of grip. It's so hard. So, should we ride it on our own bikes first? So we're literally not just crashing into the bushes on someone else's bike first, <laughs> and then swap. Yeah, go that on. Seems the, yeah, that seems yeah, the fairest go on. way yeah, to yeah, do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Catch him up. <laughs> <laughs> we're proving that we're both losing traction. <laughs> yeah, that, I mean, that's okay, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. As long as, well, a thing for me is on bikes is, as long as I can lose traction confidently. Yeah. I love the bike. Oh, this is going to be interesting when we swap. Swap it. it. Is. Like I feel, what, what do you one. feel? I feel confident on there, letting it slide. Yeah. Might not look like that on camera, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel comfortable knowing they're going to probably dab around there, but I can yeah. do it. Funny because I dab here, but don't dab there. Isn't that interesting? Yeah, it's weird. Well, let's see if it well, I'm also just absolutely all over the place everywhere else. So let's see how we get on. Straight in, high bars. I've no idea what's going to happen here. I think it's going to be actually fine. Oh, maybe not. Whoa, oh, maybe not. Do you know that's the. That was fine but that's the most cautious I've felt on them, yeah. on high bars. Everything else, I felt like I could roll straight in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But riding that then, I was like, I don't know what to do with my body. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Where do I, where do I put my yeah. arms? <laughs> oh my God, it's just everywhere. <laughs> it's literally swung me back the other way to being, I literally don't know now. Should we get a coffee and go back to the bar? Yeah, let's do it. Wow. We have ridden our bikes, ridden each other's bikes measured each other in various different ways. <laughs> Hang on, that's not fair because you're, you're not being fair to yourself. Six foot five with shoes on. Go on. There's less hair there, so. 
189. <laughs> Around, didn't we? But we can do maths. Get off. Yeah. Get off. Hang on. Hang on. You've gone. Down. Measuring how high we are, arm span, wing span, and then calculating our ape index. Like I'm sure that's got something to do with it. I haven't kind of figured out what word it's got to do with it yet, but. Hey, you're off the charts. You're actually off the chart. You need to... So I have longer arms compared to my body than you have. But what does that mean? No idea. <laughs> Hold on. How tall you are. Yeah. Your wingspan. Yeah. Your bar width. Yeah. How high your bars are. Ooh. And is there a correlation between wingspan and bar width? No. <laughs> 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 and is there a correlation between height and bar height? Well, again, no, because you're shorter and higher. Yeah. 108. 108 centimetres? Yes. From the floor? From the floor. Okay. 108. Mile rear. Let's do edge of the grip to edge of the grip. <laughs> It is, yeah, 810. 810, eight, eight, well, yeah. Eight uh, well, yeah. I mean, that's slightly off, so 8 something. Get the better bike in the in the position. Look at this. It's 50 mil higher. Yeah. So what one, am I at? One, 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 113. Yeah. It's a massive difference. That's, if you think that's about, really big. If you think Given about, you're five cent, how much taller are you than me? 8 centimetres. Yeah. And I'm 5 centimetres. So it must lower. feel, for you, it must feel really extreme going... It's, oh, no. it's an extreme low for me to do that compared yeah, to yours, yeah, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's nothing more accurate in the world, look at it. <laughs> so, three centimetres, 30 millimetres narrower, yeah. 50 millimetres higher. What, does that, what do all those measurements teach us? <laughs> I don't no, know. Not, not that this feels far. not as extreme as well when you're going downhill it doesn't feel as extreme as the numbers suggest is i think but it's an extreme difference isn't it it's, like, ma it's massive it's massive you notice i'm saying you everyone would notice the difference in moving a five mil stem spacer oh I'm sure they would. yeah yeah yeah. and yeah, you yeah, definitely yeah. notice moving 10. yeah you're 100 percent yeah, you feel like a different bike yeah, yeah, yeah. this is like <laughs> off the charts difference yeah it's, it's, it's the height of that bar it's going flat bar to that high bar. oh yeah it is isn't it yeah yeah we have ridden our bikes, ridden each other's bikes, measured each other in various different ways. <laughs> What's the conclusion? <laughs> well, I'm not going to be changing anything. What's your conclusion? You're, so you're happy with your setup? I, I mean, yeah, my... even on the flat bit of trail, I still really like this because once you'd got into the corner, I was cornering with my feet and then my weight was in the middle of the bike, mm. but turning it in was a bit tricky. So you're totally comfortable with your height? 100%, because I don't ride flat terrain anyway. And do you think you'd go either either up or down in the future? I might go higher. You might go higher. Somewhere steeper, definitely. So you're dialed in. I'm dialed in. I'm. But I'm, you might yeah. go higher depending on terrain. Yeah. Whereas I am not sure. And that's my conclusion is I'm going to try higher bars, even though what I've got at the moment is the highest bars I've had. I'm going to go higher, but I don't think that high. Uh, where it ends up, I've no idea. But I'm going to go higher. But really, there isn't any conclusion there, is there? You're shorter. I'm shorter. But you're riding high bars. With high bars. I'm taller. Currently riding with lower bars. Reasonably comfortable. Mice experiments. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's no flat rule, is there? There's no, 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 there's no, no. no, there's no, no. scientific conclusion to have no. other than be comfortable on your bike, essentially, is what it is, isn't it? Because even yeah. the fast stuff, it was all about being comfortable, wasn't it? It was all about being comfortable yeah. behind the bars, waiting the front wheel. Yeah. In the flat corners, it was about waiting the front wheel. Everything is about being comfortable. Yeah. So whatever you're comfortable riding is right. That's the thing. Would, would you have... If you were to just ride jump trails, like lands in the pines at Chicksands, yeah. would you have flatter bars, lower bars? I'd maybe go down five mil. You'd maybe go down five mil. It's five mil out of, what was the difference? 50 mil. <laughs> yeah. So it's <laughs> yeah. still high, isn't it? It's still it? pretty extreme. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still yeah. high. Yeah. Okay. I've got some bars to fit then, haven't I? <laughs> yeah. Do you want to measure the, how high your bars are? Yeah. 
Yeah, go on. Oh, yeah, he's got far height. They're pretty high for a jump bike, I reckon. So 100 centimetres? Yeah. But you've got a smaller wheel and a much smaller wheel. Much smaller wheel and a lower bottom bracket, I would say. And much less travel. If you took in the wheel and travel into the equation, that's really high. <laughs> Don't you think? Yeah. Don't you think? Yeah, yeah, totally. So I might just go back on my words about putting them down for jumping. <laughs> Hold on. You key and rode Dean's bike recently. This is true. Are you filming now? This is good. Key and rode Dean's bike recently. And what did you do? Uh, I loved it. No, but what did you do to his step? I raised it 10 mil from what it was. But I don't know what it was. Have you moved it since then? Uh, I think I put it down five. Down five? Yeah. Okay, yeah. It's just the next best thing in mountain biking. <laughs> We're never going to get to the end of this <laughs> raising bars thing. He said it was the next best thing in mountain yeah. biking, mate. Full stop. That's it. Cool. See you later, guys. Yeah, there's your conclusion. <laughs> there's the conclusion. There you go. <laughs>